So what to talk about this week? Really, I should have got my, my mic mics on. Uh, they're down there. But I think if you're built in me, all right, I, I don't think it really matters, does it? It doesn't, don't matter, don't matter. Let's put this behind my back. Get a couple of pillows behind my back, because you know what my back's like. Um, Last 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 night, um, do you know I live I live a lot. I know this is not going to be per it's not going to be a personal thing. It's just how I felt last night. I I don't, I'm not I'm not lonely. I live alone. I'm single. I live alone. I'm not lonely. I've got plenty of friends to talk to if I need to talk to. I've got my mum and dad. I've got other people to talk to as well. Um, but I just felt a bit, not lonely, a bit useless. Um, I put a video out last night. Um, and ironically, it was, it was of me getting a package from I'm not going to say for you, a friend, friend, you're all friends of the channel, friends of me, you're not, see I've got, I've got so many friends, you're my friends, um, and the, he doesn't, this, this, this thing, this YouTube thing doesn't really bother me, normally, but it hit me a bit last night, um, the other night, the other day I got, I actually got, Message by somebody who um, wanted hundred dollars to try and get me more engagement, more views, more not necessarily subscribers, which I'm not really bothered. Not really bothered. I would, I would totally get me wrong. I would like, I would like more views. That would be nice. I see other channels getting so many views. I'm thinking, what am I doing wrong? I think oh, that's just that's natural into that's human that's human nature I'm what I I know I know you, a lot of people would think oh you know what it's not it's not hard work it is hard work it is hard work some days feeling the day feeling the way I do I sometimes feel why do I bother I, I last night I was really contemplating quitting Quitting it all, finishing it all. I know I've talked about it before, and what would take. Um, I think the video was what would it take you to stop collecting. So, this is more of a what would it take for me to stop doing YouTube? And I don't do it. I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for the fame. I don't do it for the views, I don't do it for the subscribers. I, I, I know you're probably thinking, no, of course you do. Um, I do it because I love doing it. I love doing it. I love talking I love talking about toys. Um, I started my other channel, History Channel, and every time I go out now, I film for the toys and I film for the history. You'll, you'll have known if you're watching the History Channel, I've recently been to Markham, Lancaster, York, Scarborough, and I've done a video in each place on a toy hunt, and I've done more more videos on my history channel, which I don't get anything back from. It's basically because I want to film places, I want to document places, I want to um, show people places, and people I, I do like people like me walking about so I've started to do that a bit my health is not great at the moment it's getting a bit better my health has not been brilliant and um, I've had a lot of comments oh you're out of breath there you know and that is one of the things I'm I'm waiting for a scan um, I've had a scan on my chest I went for another scan and uh, this is nothing to do with the channel, so that's just 
people have I've, I've had comments so i'm just putting it out there that yeah um it's not been the best of times um but you know i've kept going through your help through i've got a core a core of 20 30 people at least 20 people anyway that will watch everything i don't think certain people that will watch things more than once and you know you are um i'm not, I'm not gonna name you yeah this is I, I just it's just it's just fantastic how what the support i get and i know you're helping me but i'm helping i am aware that i'm helping you um this is why i'm going i go i'm i'm going places i like today i was thinking I know the weather's changing and Wednesday, Thursday this week was going to be nice and Friday is going to be sh rubbish. Um, <laughs> but there was there was an auction today. And there's an auction today, there's a two day auction. Now, I got up this morning and I just wasn't feeling, feeling it. So I didn't do the auctions. Sorry, I didn't do the auctions. Um, my mum said she was going to come up, so she came up. Uh, so I ended up today. I've done absolutely nothing. It's not felt 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 it today. Um, and that's not really like me. I I, I do need this. There's, there's a lot of things in my head that I need to do. I need to go to Leeds. I need to go into Dewsbury. This this these videos I have in my head that I really need to do. And I need to know, I know I need to get them done before the weather turns bad. There's a certain video I want to do um, from Clark Eaton to possibly hit my mic. Depends how I feel, like I said, with my health, um, if I can make it all the way to the end of the green line. So I want to do that for the History Channel. Um, if um, if I pass toy shops and the way I'll film for the toy 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 hunts as well, but um, it's like when I go to Leeds, obviously I will go into the shops. I will go in and all the shops again and do a proper toy hunt. But this the Bronte exhibition that I want to go to. So I've been doing a series on the Brontes. I've still got a couple of videos from Scarborough that I need to put up. Edit put up. I've got one from Markham that I need to do. I mean, I could have been doing that today and I should have been doing it, but I do tend to just put one video a week out on the History Channel. Now, as you know, the Toy Channel, I get videos out almost daily. Um, recently, I've not been daily, but um, I mean, I've got a few short videos this week. I'm just going to put them up uh, daily. And see how we get us out see how we go but yeah last night i just thought you know what it, it was about 30 seconds if that and i thought no no because you need it i need it i need you to watch me simple as that and i thank you for that um you, your comments saying how how good it is I'm getting out and showing you places. I know there's a certain few of you that cannot get out and I will carry on doing that because of that. Um, I know that I know I've, I've, been, I've been mentioning Charlie Beach a lot lately because I'm just real, I've got into him. Um, the, the, the security guard last week, this, he, um, I was film. I was filming in this shopping centre, and yeah, you can't film in here. Blah blah blah. I said, yeah, no, I know. I'm just, I'm just doing the frontage, and I want to go in and film. And it was, a, it was a nice guy, and he's, he's a sub subscribed to the channel. I hope he has anyway. I think he has. Um, and he mentioned Charlie Beach, which was, he says, oh, I watch all the auditors, and I'm not, not an auditor. No, no. Can't stand the auditors. He's giving us, us YouTubers and us drone users a bad name. That they're gonna give 
but Stronios has more rules, I think, at the end of the day. It's, so it's not good. So then he mentioned Charlie Beach and I said, yeah, 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 oh yeah, big influence on me. Lately, if you notice that I've, I've tried to put a bit more, I've put more walking, especially in my history videos, a, a walking of around the area and showing you things that might be of interest. Uh, I'm not, I'm not copying him, I'm, I, I'm inspired by him, so yeah. Um, then maybe there's a bit of comedy going in there. I'm not a comedian by any stretch of the imagination. I like to be funny, I like to be funny. I'd like to cheer people up, cheer, cheer people up. but I'm not a comedian. I'll never, I mean, look at my face, I'm, you can laugh at me anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was good. That was, and I've put it up as a short, not allowed. <laughs> So yeah, that was that was pretty good, um, but I felt like I needed to do this waffle simply to get it off my chest. Uh, there's a few updates of the channel as well that I want to talk about. Um, I did miss out. I was I was doing the the acid toy hunt the other day, and I did miss out. I was going to I said I was going to do a bit of a waffle on what the the guy said. I don't think I filmed, I wasn't filming at that point. And he was filling the shelves. And I, I, I was interrogating him. I was saying, um, so how do you order? Do, do, does, does, the heart, does the order from head office, blah, blah, blah. And he was, he was telling me everything about, um, yes, I mostly do the ordering from head office, but he does, on a Sunday, he just started working, bless him. On a Sunday, he, he checks the shells, see what's what's there and what's not there, and it reports it back and everything like that. So it's not fully automated. It's not fully automated. So I give him a card. I said, "Look, if you get anything good in, let me know." So he, hopefully, he's, he's subscribed as well. But um, it was interesting talking to him. It was. Um, I mean, I've talked I've talked to a few people in in toy shops before. Uh, and I, I knew somebody in Smiths that worked for Smiths at one, at one point, and he was telling me a lot about Smiths. And it's all it's all it's all automated these days, and um, certain objects, certain things, they will not reorder until it's fully so fully sold. We know that we know that. So um, if there's one thing left that's like a big one, they won't re restock all the other ones that are really. Um, selling well because this one thing won't sell. Just, I think that is a problem. That is one of the problems that um, Hasbro has, or any toy company. Um, Hasbro changed their packaging. They used to send out um, whole cases of, of like used to put. I, 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 I'm thinking about it. Next examples but you know you know the, the, the sent out a full wave and some figures will not sell some will some won't and they never got it right they never got the 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 packs right the waves right they, they put two in that wouldn't sell and one, one that everybody wanted just it's not rocket science so that's why we had peg warmers and that's still there's still a thing still a thing is peg warming but I think now what they've started to do is start to give like six of each character in a box. But that, that doesn't solve anything, but that should tell them that, well, this box is selling really well. This character is selling really well. We need to order some more of those, but they won't do it until the, the, the lot's sold. So I don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah, so, I'm not really, but I'm not really, I'm not really in a funk, in a, in a, in a depression kind of sense. It just said, I felt that, you know what, why, why? Kieran sent me a package, and is it, 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 it sent me this fantastic package, 
and I've only just got 100 views on it. Which might sound good, but it's not. It's not good. Since I've changed my thumbnails and my titles, my views have gone up a bit. I'd say about maybe 100 each video. And there's always the videos that, the, his, the toy histories that never do well. But I just do them because sometimes I get asked to do a, a certain toy history or a company history. And I will still do that. But the views are very marginal on those. And it's, it's really weird. It's really hit and miss. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes it's a toy hunts that do well for me. Um, but this just and it just baffled me. I thought it's really good. It's really good. I mean, the video. It might be me. It might be the video. It is. It, it could be the um, the title. It could be the thumbnail. It could be anything. But like I said, I've done. I've done a lot of research on doing thumbnails, titles. I know I started at the video beginning of the video saying I'm not bothered about views, but yeah, it does baffle me sometimes when I'm thinking. Why does certain videos get three, four hundred views and some just get fifty? It's due to the content, obviously. It's, it's a lot of people might not be interested. Um, it's like I've just, I've just, I've just done a video on the uh, the Premier League cards that I've been collecting, and I've been doing a bit on that. And be interesting to see what numbers I get on that. Am I get? Will I get people pe collecting people from football collect card collecting coming over? You've got to really stick to your niche, basically. And I'm just I'm just trying to bring in different things. It's it's, it's all collecting. It's a toy. It's a toy channel, but it's a collecting channel. It's, it's everything collecting. And it's like when we're bringing in the stickers. People seem to like me doing those stickers. So I carry, do, carry on doing that. I've got some Indiana Jones. I've got some Harry Potter. Uh, Kieran yesterday in the box sent me um, some more Return of the Jedi ones, which I'm looking forward to putting in. I've seen how far that goes. Um, but with this Adrenaline XL Panini football cards, um, I'm doing really well with the collection. I'm, I'm I've, I've been doing it what over a week and I'm nearly I'm, I'm at least 60% but I know it's going to get harder now the base cards I've nearly all got it's the like, things like the golden ballers so you're going to have to keep buying buying them you're going to have to buy the higher end like the tins and things like that where you're going to get a, you know you're getting a golden baller but you're going to get to, so many base cards that you've already got. So you're going to, you, your swaps are going to be astronomical at the end. Anyway, that's that's going away from that. But um, I, I mean, I was I, I, look, I was looking last night. I thought I'm going to cheer myself up. I'm going to buy some. I'm going to buy some. These are th these. I could give you a list of the things I actually need. Some for the channel. The iPhone 15 has just been announced. That looks really nice. Um, hopefully the iPhone 14 might come down in price. So I am um, definitely by January, I need to get a new phone. No, I'm using this phone. I'm using the phone now. It's it's all right. It's all right. Um, the microphone, you might notice the microphone. It's not very good. That's why I bought those little microphones. Um, they're brilliant. Those are absolutely brilliant. Uh, the built-in microphone is starting to get a bit not very good. The battery life is has always been excellent, and that is starting to slow down. It's not too bad though because I've got like battery packs and things like that. And this, every time I've been travelling, I can always plug it in. Uh, the buses, the trains, you can always plug them in these days. So it's not that bad, but I just know I'm just aware that I will need a new phone um camera as well i would love a proper camera 
And we've got this this little that uh, uh, it's on there. Anyway, you know, you know the little you've seen it, the my little camera. It costs three hundred pounds. And it's good, it's really good, and it's tiny and you can just just you can just whip it out of the camera and use it. And you you hardly get noticed. Now I've started to use my gimbal more with the phone. Now that now that, that, that audio thing is fixed because of the microphones, I use a gimbal more with the phone. So that's probably why the battery's running down a bit. But it's 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 bulky. Especially when you've got the the clip for the um, the clipped on microphone. It starts to go all over the place because it's got a mind of its own as the gimbal. So I would love I'm not gonna I can't afford a high-end camera. But I know again to Charlie Beach he's got um, a Lumix S5. I would love something like that, you know, just I don't know, it just just so, just an extra camera. I'm thinking about selling the little camera. To put two hours to get like a proper camera. <laughs> do I do I, do I need one? Let me know in the comments. Do I actually need a, a better camera? I would like to have one. Just to just just to have one just in case. Um the, the thing is the the phone camera is 4K. The little camera is 4K, so there's not that much um, really I need a proper camera for. But it would be lovely to have one that could zoom in and oh, yeah, It'd be brilliant to get shots as well as video. Um, so there's that. Um, obviously, as I was saying, when I go out. Um, my health wise and like with the uh, sound about going to click it and uh, trying to do the green way I was looking at a, an e-scooter I know I know a 53 year old guy on, on an e-scooter looks look a bit daft and then uh, they're about two three hundred pound for a, the cheapest one and um, then it said it's illegal to, to use them on the road and on the paths they're for private property. So I'm thinking, well, oh, there's no point getting that then. I think it'd be all right doing it on the greenway. That's what I'd like to get one to fall down, go on the bus to click in, go on the greenway, get off and get on back on the bus and come on. That will be perfect. But I'm thinking, I'd like to. I'd, I mean, when I go shopping, I could take it. You know what I mean? It, it'd be it'd be nice. It would be nice. But if I can't use it, and I, I, I might, if I get, in, I'm not going to going to get into trouble because I'm. A, you know what I mean? But then there's an e-bike. Um, an e-bikes. I think the cheapest e-bikes are like five hundred to four five hundred pound. So that's not feasible, really. Um, I'd have to really sell something it's like it's like selling i'd sell that like little camera to get a camera a proper camera see i've got nothing really that could give me 500 pound to towards uh, an e-bike and the thing is i've got tendonitis to the knees i can't pedal so having having a motor on it would be would be all right but then how long would it last blah 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 so yeah it's a lot of money just to just to shell out something i i probably want to use it. and now it's getting it's getting worse weather would i use it it would get me about about out and about to film things that i want to film because like i say i've got a lot of things in my head that i want to film um I mean, it wouldn't get me to York or Scarborough or things like that. I'd also go on the on the bus. That's what I'm saying about uh, an e-scooter. The thing is, this this scooter's in in town centres. So, how is it illegal? Weird. I don't know. Anyway, 
So yeah, um, there's there are, there's a lot of things, a lot of things um, I could do with to help the channel, help me. Um, I was looking at Amazon and just I just left it. I mean, I even I even even I haven't even got my NFL Game Pass yet, and I get that every year. That's £150 a year to watch the Dolphins. I had to... The thing is, Sunday, last Sunday when the Dolphins were playing, I couldn't have watched it on Game Pass anyway, so there's no point buying it yet. I had to get a day pass for Sky Sports, which was £11.99. So that £11.99 was worth it to watch the Dolphins game. Um, so I watched it. Monday night, I thought, well... Usually when you get on a day pass, they give you like a mobile pass. So I wanted to watch the Jets Bills game. I couldn't get it on. It wouldn't it wouldn't come on mobile for some reason. And then the day after I get an email saying, Oh, you got twelve months mobile Sky Sports. But where were it last night when I needed it? So Miami's playing Sunday night this week, late Sunday night, I'm, I'm saying Monday morning. So I could watch it on the mobile. Now it, yeah, tiny. I think what I might do is watch it on the mobile and um, I'm going to have to bite the bullet on one, at one point and, and, and buy the game pass and it's a lot of money it's 150 pound now i can have it 124 if i pay it all in one month i could pay it monthly 37 pound a month but it would be 150 now what do i do do i pay it all at once and get the 26 pound off or do i pay it monthly at 37 pound i think i'm better off paying it just just paying it, just paying it. But it's, I say it's a lot of money, and I want I want to need other things as well. Um, I'm, I'm saying wanting. I'm not need. I don't need any of it. I'm wanting it. Just help me, uh, help the channel, and um, you know. I mean, the, the, the game pass is because I want to watch the dolphins. I don't need to. I don't. Yeah, I don't need to. <laughs> I do Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's about it, I think, for this week. Um, let me know if you're interested in any of the comments I made tonight. Um, I did. I did talk. I was. I did the. I did the mem members waffle when I went out into Morley, and I put it up on the channel. And I was talking about. YouTube. So if you want me to talk about more about YouTube or you want me to go talk more about collecting, I just want to me to, to waffle like this in general. So let me know. Or a mix of everything. Which is something I want to do. I like it's easy content, put it that way. I just I don't need to edit it unless I I swear profanely. Profanely? Prof, prof, profoundly profanely prof, that if I swear a lot, um, which I never do, I never do. I'm not that kind of person. So um, I really appreciate. I really appreciate every single one of you, apart from you, you lurker. I know. I know. Yeah. No, I'm only kidding. Um, I really do. You're giving me a view at the end of the day. <laughs> um, you can put a thumbs down as well. It's, it's, it's engagement on the channel. That helps. Yeah, so if you've got any, any ideas uh, about me, especially with this, like this this person that said, I want a, a thousand, a uh, hundred dollars to, to, to big you up and put you all on social media and blah, 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 blah. Um, the thing is, I need somebody like that for free. Because <laughs> I can't afford 
Um, I do. I do need. I do need an intern. I do need an intern to do all that for me. Um, there's a lot of things I could be doing to big up the channel, to promote it more. I need somebody to do the t-shirts, the merch, sort the merch out, um, contact companies, contact companies to get promotions from them, to get free stuff from them, um, contact up Benini, about getting, not just the football cards, the American football cards, because they do NFL cards as well. I would like to get hold of some of those. So I need somebody, I need somebody that, they can do that all that, but not ask for a hundred dollars up front. Um, I could do it with somebody, somebody local. Um, I mean, things like the editing, the editing I do myself. I'm a one man, one -man band here. Um, it's all my own work, but I could do with help. With the background stuff, the promotion, the merch, the um, affiliates, Amazon, Amazon affiliate. I've had I've had that for so long. I've just don't use it. It just seems like a lot of work for. And apparently, you get a lot of money. You can you can get a lot of money through affiliates. But I just don't seem to um, be bothered to do it, which I should. I know it's my own fault, I should do it. I should really, you know, pull my socks up. Do do more for the channel myself. But I seem to be thinking about content more than promotion. And like I said to this person, they were they were a bit pushy. And I I, I thought, no. When they when the when the when they're pushy like that, I was glad that I, I did say no. But it's what I do need. It's, it's something I do need. And it's, it's, I say, like I said at the beginning, I, I'm not concerned. So I'm doing it for the fun. But, but, like the gist of this whole video is last night I got a bit not pissed off but just a bit down that I put all that work in and this this is something you've got to put up with and this is something I will talk about about YouTube in the future if anybody's interested and um, you got to be mentally tough which sometimes you can't always be. So thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love you all. And I'll see you next time. May the toys be with you. What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal?